Good morning, world. What is going on? I figured I would just show you guys a day in my life in social distancing, isolation, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's not really quarantine. No one in my family or even my friend group is even sick, but I'm stuck at my house. I So I figured I'd show you guys what I get up to. So I just woke up. I originally woke up at like 8 because my dogs were moving around, but then I was like, oh, hell no. So I'm back to bed and now it's 10. But that's one thing I am enjoying about social distancing, sleeping in. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of me and see more of um, just kind of my life, definitely subscribe down below. I really want to hit 500 subscribers. And if you guys want to see more of like um, behind the scenes of what I get up to and like my college life and stuff, um, definitely follow me on my Instagram linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into what I'm doing today. Here is Miss Wiggles, still sleeping. Oh, there you go. Now you're awake. You wanna say hi? You say hi to the vlog? She's so cute. She sleeps all day if you let her. She's 17 years old. She's just straight chilling. She is loving us being home because we just chill with her all day. I pretty much just lay with her or um, I do wondering about like social distancing stuff. I do like still take her on walks because like I don't think that's right for the people who aren't like taking care of their animals. Like I get you need to take this seriously, but like I feel like you can still take your dog for a walk. Just like don't stop and talk to anyone else in the neighborhood. Like, just wave. Keep on going on your merry way. Um, that's what me and my family have been up to. We still take the dogs out. We have another dog, Alice, but she's somewhere. Um, so we still, my mom is running the room, but she's been cleaning like crazy. So that's, I'm, I apologize if that bothers you, but it needs to go on because now that we're all home and the dogs are laying around all day, there's dogs for everywhere. So, um, yeah, let me move my phone a bit so you guys can see me. Um... So that's kind of what I get up to. We always take the dogs for a walk. I've been gardening a lot in our front yard. Um, just planting like flowers, nothing crazy. Like I'm not very skilled with like manual labor, but um, kind of just doing stuff like that. I'm back to sleeping and stuff from high school because I'm running out of clothing. I have to go back to my college apartment on Monday to get the rest of my stuff. I mean, like they are telling us we're still gonna be able to come back but um i'm just running out of stuff for even next week so i might as well just go get it just in case if something happens and we don't get to go back just because honestly it's like a day-by-day -day play with the news lately so um i figured might as well go get it and um i left like wiggles heartworm medicine she's have heartworms but she's on like a preventative and i want to be able to go get that so then they do close down the college and stuff like um, and I don't need to be in, um, like my college town in St. Marcus, then I already have all of her stuff and my stuff. And I have a whole crate of dog food up there that hasn't even been opened because I got it for second semester and hasn't even been opened. So I was like, oh, like I'll get that too. So she has more food up here, food that she likes, her special wet food. So yeah, you want to come say hi? Come here. Oh, are you sleeping? Are you sleepy? Mwah. Say hi. Say hello. So it's kind of the game plan for the next couple days. Um, I've been allowed to like see like my boyfriend because his family's like um like self isolating as much as like they can. So like he's allowed to come over here and I'm allowed to go like go over there. But like we don't go out to eat, we don't go anywhere, we don't really hang out with people. Um I saw my friend um sarah and tegan like the first day i was home like i went and said like hey to them and stuff but like i haven't really seen them since um so i've kind of just been straight chilling at home i mean like there's definitely things like we obviously we had to get out and go to the grocery store uh, last night you guys saw on like snapchat and stuff like that but like we aren't really hanging out with anybody or anything like that i think that's the biggest thing about this is like social distancing literally means like not going out all the time like i think mostly it's like don't go out to public places like i think if you're having like one friend come over to your house fine but like you don't need to be going out to like bars clubs um all those people out on the beaches in florida i'm like y'all are definitely not social distancing like i see big clumps of you like that's incorrect to like go back to your beach house so I think just like not being in massive groups of people we i live in the community on the water so like 
going on a boat is like i think an okay to social distance because you're nowhere near anybody else so stuff like that just not being around big groups of people um don't go to movie theaters don't do things like that like just staying with like the immediate people in your household and maybe like one or two others that people like you need to see like grandparent or like if a best friend if like their family's okay with you seeing them and your family's okay with you seeing them stuff like that and for, or for me it's like the boyfriend and my parents are cool with me seeing him because we go to school long like we're long distance because he goes to different school and stuff so they're like, okay like it's probably won't happen again so you can go see him but like it's not like an everyday thing like i get to see him once every couple days so that's what's been going on here so first thing in the morning after I like wake up, play with the dogs and stuff, I like to open up my windows and I need to make my bed. And I'm currently living out of a suitcase at the moment because none of my clothes here are like, they're all like just old high school swim shirts and stuff. And I don't have anything that I wear like day to day and some of my stuff I've gotten rid of. And some of it's like baby clothes. It's just like stuff, you know, that you have at your, like, your house after you move out. So I need to go back. That's why I have to go back to San Marcos to get the rest of my stuff. I'm not going to get anything crazy. I'll probably just always be doing like once every couple weeks going and get stuff just because like no one knows the situation with this virus and like I don't want to be stupid and not have anything and I don't want to wear the same like sets of clothes for weeks. So I need to go get more stuff and yeah. So let's get dressed and get out of this old fit. <laughs> So here's just like the top I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same, just under armor shorts, the shorts that I slept in. Um, it's actually really cute in the back. It like shows like whatever, like it's like meant to work out. I would say it's from like Air Boss or something, whatever like sports bra you're wearing. This is just a older Lululemon one. Um, it's just like really like flowery if you guys can tell. And then I just need to brush out my hair. Um, Originally, I was like really sad during quarantine and like I was not taking care of myself. I was just laying in my bed and all that, but I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Like you can't do anything about it. So you might as well just keep on going. Like it is what it is. Like I'm definitely, I'm a huge extrovert if you know me personally or if you guys like can't really tell because I never shut up. Um, I am Mrs. like social. I am even plan my story. Like I'm always being with people, and this is like driving me insane. But like I recognize, I do not have it nearly as bad as some people. Like there are some people right now who are really struggling because like they can't afford to stock up on groceries, or like they're losing their jobs, or like they have small children. Like I'm lucky. I'm an only child. Like my family is done raising children. It's just me. So and then my cousin is ten, so she's like decently self sufficient. So it's not like a huge deal. Like we don't have super small kids that we have to watch all day and like have something to do. So like, it's definitely not, we don't have it as like hard as other families. So like, I am really lucky and I do recognize that. I don't want you guys to think I'm just like complaining and upset. Like, yeah, it sucks. Like I have a lot, I have some people I know who are like still in high school and they're like, oh, like looking up, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, had to come home from college and like move my whole ass life, but it is what it is. Like, you know, I'm not super, super upset. And I'm lucky, like, all my friends who are out of state, how are they gonna go get all their stuff? Like, I'm just three hours up the road, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna flip my hair over and do a quick ponytail. Um, I actually am breaking quarantine tomorrow. I have a hair appointment. And the reason I'm still going is the girl, this is the girl who's been doing my hair since I was about eight or nine years old. And it's just her in her salon. So it will literally just be me and her. And like, it's one of those things like you need to still pay people who work for like small businesses and stuff. Like you can't like, like we're still playing like, or I'm not paying, but like my parents have like a cleaning service who like comes and helps clean up around the house and stuff. And my parents are like, hey, like don't come, but like we're still gonna pay you. Like we just don't want like the excess like amount of people like in the house like that could spread the virus, but like we still want to pay you. So I'm just like, but tomorrow I'm just gonna get my hair cut. Um, probably like a good couple inches just because like all of this 
is like dead from swimming. So, and like flat iron my hair, curling my hair, like always having heat on my hair and a lot of it's dead. And like my hair grows really, really fast. My mom says like that says it's my, my Indian jeans. I don't know, but like my hair grows relatively fast. Like at the beginning of the year, I cut a big chunk off and it's like already, um, I'll insert a pic here of when it's straightened. It's already down at my hips. So like when it's down and stuff, you guys couldn't tell earlier, like it's really long. Like when it's pinned straight, like fresh, fresh off the iron. So it gets really long. So yeah, now I'm just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and I'll show you guys what I have for breakfast. So my mom is making a order at a local restaurant because it's really important to still support like local businesses because those are like people you know or like people who live in your neighborhood who like they're obviously going through a hard time too like nobody's eating out nobody's going to the stores or things like that or nobody should so right now a lot of local restaurants are doing takeout only so that's what we're going to do just for a local pasta place by my house and so people like so one i can give my mom a break from cooking and two all i can make is eggs so like we've had a lot of that in this household and i can make taco meat and that's it but um so uh we're kind of just been doing a lot of home cooked meals and that way we can give my mom a break and all i can make is eggs so i'm nodding me but um oh hi wiggles <laughs> and uh so we're gonna do that mom what did we just order <gasps> I'm so excited to have restaurant food. <laughs> Here's what I got and what my mom got for lunch. Pasta, bread, a little bit of soup, just one of these drinks. Got some margarita pizza. Yeah, made sure to wipe everything down before we opened it up. Hey guys, so I just ate some lunch and cleaned up and put everything away. It's like really important, I mentioned this earlier, just to support small businesses in your area, whether that's like buying a gift card for them to use later on, or like, especially like if they're all open right now, but like their online is open or anything like that, or like if you really can't get out, like if you are like one of those people at risk, um, or if like you have someone in the family who is sick or something and you really shouldn't get out, um, buy gift cards, things like that, so you can still support your community. Um, everyone in my family and family is fine so we just got takeout because that's fine we wiped everything down um i have emergency in here and like some strawberry vitamin drink thing in here and i think it's really important to be drinking that like every day if you can you can just buy the big packs in bulk we did that and everyone in my family has been drinking them just to like stay as healthy as possible so like if one of us did get sick hopefully never but if that did happen we will be okay um and then i'm still drinking my little mango drink now i'm gonna light a candle Let me set you guys up um i'm kind of sad because all my good candles are back at the apartment so i have to kind of wait to go get those but i'll go get them on monday so this one is just the bahama breeze from bath and bot or not bath and Body Works, yankee candle yankee candle is actually really good i still really like them their prices are a lot better than bath and body works but bath and body works is still my favorite but um these are really good like especially because we have a yankee candle right next to my house so these are great to get when i'm home and they last so long like i've had this one like probably since summer and like it's great to have at home when i am home like over christmas breaks or this break so with that and then put that back where it goes and now i'm probably just gonna chill out for a bit and lay with the dogs and kind of let my food settle and then we're probably doing my mom so my mom has a personal trainer who's been sending her workouts because they obviously aren't meeting right now so i've been doing her workouts with her so i'll probably chill for a bit because my mom she works from home because her office got like shut down like they don't want anybody coming in so when she gets off work we'll probably do her workout and i'll actually show you guys what it is so if you guys are bored and you want to work out it's actually a really good workout it's like five different steps and she prints and like she sends us like a google slides or whatever and it shows like how each movement should be done and like my mom went and bought like ordered weights online so we can use weights with them too and like i have resistance bands and ankle weights and we have mats and we just ordered everything because might as well you're stuck at home so and it's not like right now like she's paying for all these sessions with the trainer because she's at home so we're still saving that money and putting it towards this and stuff so yeah or i'll turn you guys this way hopefully the lighting's a little better it's like weird because i'm at like a weird angle with my window oh look there's wiggles 
She went up the little stairs. She only likes to be in my bed when my bed is made and it makes me so angry because I'm like, oh, I just made it clean. But it's fine. She's so cute. I just let her be. And then Alice is chilling in the hallway, just playing with her toys. So it's kind of what's been going on. I'll probably chill out, watch a little bit of YouTube or some Netflix. I finished like all of my Netflix shows. So if you guys have any good show recommendations, definitely leave them down below. I have Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus. So if you guys have any shows on any of those that you like, let me know. I finished like The Mandalorian. I finished a lot of like the popular shows. So um, if you guys have any shows that, like a lot of non people know or things like that, or like something you just really like, definitely leave it down below because I'd be hundred percent interested so yeah i think i'm gonna go chill for a bit and then i'll get back with you guys when it's time to do the workout and drake may or may not be coming over tonight i don't know he's just chilling at his house he's been building a computer so who knows what he's doing but yeah that's what's been going on hello vlog i have captured a wild wiggles and i'm about to give her a bath because we have nothing better to do and Drake is picking up our target order because they're doing like pickups, like they'll put it together and you can just pick it up. So Drake is doing that because he lives right next to Target. And I'm gonna bathe in this thing. So, because we are stuck inside a lot, like no dog park and stuff, obviously. So, she needs to be clean. So, I'll time slap this so you guys can enjoy Miss Wiggles. <laughs> You're gonna go outside. You're so clean. Oh yes, you smell good now. You smell good now. Okay, so I just gave both dogs a bath. Let me fix my shirt. It's all wet at the bottom, but I don't really want to change it um because I'm running out of clothing. Um I gave both dogs a bath and then for Alice, we actually have to give her peanut butter on the side of a little, like we use like the living room or the laundry room, like wash station. We call it like the dog wash station. And um, I think that's like what it was intended for. I'm not exactly sure, but we gave both dogs, um, or we gave Alice anyway. I gave Wiggles a treat after, but we give Alice peanut butter on the sides. That's what she was like moving towards the corner to do. And I was trying to show you guys, but then my, like someone ended up calling me all that. But um, now she's running making her face all over the carpet. But um, it's the easiest way to get her to sit still in the bath. So if you guys have dogs who get crazy in the bath, biggest recommendation, put peanut butter or spray cheese or whatever their like treat is that they love. They can take them a bit to eat or like a Kong or something on the side of the tub. And then, um, so then you can wash them down and they'll be completely distracted because dogs like food over like everything. So they'll be completely distracted from what you are doing to them. So when I was bathing her and brushing her, she was completely chill because she had her treat. So and now she's rubbing herself all over the floor, but it's all good. It's all good. Right now, um, I know the pollen's really bad. Like I live in Houston, like near the water. So the pollen and all that is like really really bad right now and like they're not able to go outside a whole lot and the dogs have just been going crazy so I was like it'll be good to just get them a nice good clean scrubbing because we'll be inside a lot more like, we're still taking them for walks but like no dog park like none of that no like crazy amount of time like out and about so and like wiggles like she has a car seat in my car and I'm gonna take her everywhere but I've been leaving her at home just because we haven't really been going anywhere either like we do go places it's like we're just running to get takeout and come right back so yeah, it's pretty much what's been going on. So they've been stuck in the house like us. And like, even though they're so excited, I know they get a little like sad because like Wiggles, you can tell is looking out my window and she wants to know what's going on. So it's kind of a good way to kind of get your dogs something to do, something for you to do and something for them to do. Okay, so got really, really sad news. I mean, school was canceled for the rest of the semester and I had my breakdown, but now I'm better. I'm better, I'm past it kind of. Not really, but I will. Um, so now I'm kind of figuring out what I need to do. Like, glad I plan on going up Monday because I need to get all my stuff. And because my parents, like, don't want me in San Marcos or anything. So, and I, like, totally get it. Also, I don't really want to be there because, like, I can only make eggs and bread. So, <laughs> I kind of starve. So, I mean, it's amazing I didn't starve the whole school year. But anyway, besides that. So, we're going to get my stuff. Or just, like, more stuff. Just more clothes and um stuff like that i think every couple weeks i'll have to go and get clothes like obviously can't bring my whole closet with me just because like 
so I have an apartment. I didn't plan on that, but I'm gonna go get that and like anything like of value to me, I'm gonna go get. So, um, just so I don't want to leave stuff sitting in the apartment, dog food, all of that. Clean out the fridge completely. Hopefully, I'll probably just FaceTime my roommates, tell them, ask them what I can throw away, what I shouldn't throw away, stuff like that. Just because like some stuff's like non-perishable, like um, like condiments and stuff, but like other things have like gotta go because we didn't plan on being away this long. So. Yeah. Getting gas. Well, my dad's gassing in my car. Here's your. Hey guys, I'm actually editing this video, so this is later, Ella. And I realized I never made an outro. I ended up just chilling um, the rest of the night after like my boyfriend brought over um, some like necessities that we needed from Target because we didn't want to get out any of those nights. So we're like, please go get it because they'll just bring it out to your car and stuff. So we went into that for us, and we ended up just chilling and then like hanging out. And we went to the dogs for a walk, and that was pretty much the rest of my night. So and I'm in some PJs now. So I hope you guys are having a great afternoon, morning, or night wherever you are. I know everything right now is really complicated in the world, and. Um, wherever you are, I'm sending you lots of love and prayers and I hope that you're doing okay. And just know that my channel is always going to be a safe space for anything that you guys want to talk about. Like if you don't, if you're just sad or happy or just anything you want to share, I'm 100% open to that. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe down below. And yes, good night or good morning and bye everyone. Damn, but hold your balance. I just say whatever cause there is no way you're bound. Everyone falls.